Hi, good morning, everybody. Uh, this is Baskar watching Baskar Time. Okay, today we're looking for one more ARM processor lab program that is the port operations. So you already know that when come to ARM processor, what we are going to use in our lab session that is LPC 176A. This LPC 176A it consists of ports. Many ports we have, almost four ports we have. So out of four ports, I'm going to use a two ports now. One port for the input and one port for the output. So by taking the data from the port how to do the mathematical operation and how to store in the port these all things we are going to discuss in this video okay so what is our aim of your uh, lab program it is program to read 8 bit value from the port i need to read 8 bit value from the port and send the result to the port so in order to read in order to read means it's an input for input i'm going to use port 0 and uh, for the output i'm going to use port 2 okay Let's see on that. So if you want to do the addition now, I'm going to do the mathematical operation. I'm going to do addition. So I'll read the data from the port zero. I'm going to take that the value it is four. You can see how to take the value of four. You can see that. So yeah. So what light? Okay, you can see that zero zero four. I'm going to take it. So one. 0, 0. It is nothing but 4. So it is taken by the 4. It is reading from the watch window. It is used for port 0. Similarly, for another data, for that one also, I'm going to take a port 0. The value I've taken is a 0, 1, 1. Okay. It is used for port 0. So after that, if I want to do the addition, I'm going to do addition operation. After that, you know that 4 plus. Okay. After addition of 4 plus 3, uh, we will get a 7. 7 we can read from the port 2 now to read that one port plus 3 i'll get a 7 we can use a port 2 so this is the program what we are going to use so how to write the program so here basically you know that how to initialize my port 0 and port 2 you already know that let's see on that programs okay now to do this one so what is the procedure what we have so previous program what you have you need to close this one go to project and close the project and now I'm going to create a new project, uh, project, new microvision project. So here I'm going to give uh, one program name. Let's give it to port, to port n. So just save. So asking for LPC 1768. Yeah, you need to give. So OK. So start a file, just give it no for these cases like source group is there what you have to do you know to add the library file for this click opposite button add existing file to the group go to library and uh, that you have a sorry standard library so we give all file so you have a startup you need to add and you need to close make sure that you have a startup library okay now you need to add the project click opposite button add new items to the group c file okay next here i'm going to write the program let's go view the two port add i'll give two port add just you add okay now make sure that in the project window should be should have library file as well as project file no other files okay now i need to write the program just i have a program i just copy Okay, ash include LPC 17x dot it's an enter file, you know that. So I'm going to take an int value i j k. I'm going to take an int values. Next, you can see that I'm going to already told that port 0 used for input, port 2, I'm going to use it for output. Port 0 internally having the two pin select register, pin select 0 as well as pin select 1. I'm going to use lower 8 bits, that's why I'm going to use pin select 0. So that's why LPC pin con pin configuration of pin select 0. So I'm going to make it as 0, 0 means by making 0, 0, 0, it acts as a GPIO, general purpose input output. Similarly, I'm going to use the port 2, port 0, 2, I'm going to use port 2 here also, I'm going to use. So port 2, the pin select registers, what it will come to it is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, it will come. So it is the second port, right? So pin select 4, it will come. That value, I'm going to make it as a 0, 0. 
So by making zero, if you remove also, it will work because the default values are zero zero. Definitely act as a GPIO. Next, it is I need to decide whether the port zero as input or port two as an output. Okay, so GPIO zero used for uh, GPIO zero looking for direction control. Direction control, I'm going to make it as a zero zero. By making a zero zero attack as an input, I'm going to use a port two. The port two, what we are going to use, that one I'm going to make my FIO their register as an FF. FF is nothing but make it as an one one. By making one one, it acts as an output. You already know that. If you want to clear explanation of this one, please go to previous LPC one seven six eight. Easily you can see on that. Now you see that is actual my program. Here first read the first input value from the port zero. The first variable means I am going to take one variable j, another variable I am going to take. After that perform the operations. I am going to do the operations just like addition. Now you can do the any operations, multiplication and operation also you can do that later. We'll see that and uh, result I am going to store in FIO pin and uh, put it later I am going to store in my GPIO two. Okay. Let's see in order to see that one, just save the project and build target. Okay. Debug. Okay. Now you can see that uh, run the program. See, not a problem here also, but wait until the line number coming to it is 18. So according to here, it is in the 18. You can see. I need to load the value for your pin. I don't know what is the value of port zero, right? I need to give right. So port zero input, how to give this one? Go to peripheral GPO interference port zero. So port zero first, if you open that one, it'll port zero, it will come out. So initially it is assigned some value. If you go directly, it means it will take this value, will not get the actual value. So that's why I need to remove this one. Just remove, click here. So if you click here, easily we can remove. Okay, make it as an empty. Now, what I'm telling it is I value, I taken as a four. Four is nothing but zero, zero, one, right? Just click here. So one, zero, zero. By making one, zero, zero, so the value it will come, it's a four. Let's see how it is coming. So in order to see that one variable also, one more window have, go to view and select watch window and you have a watch, just click on that watch window it will come out okay so okay so watch window it will come out so you give the extension here it is what is available i'm going to use i just double click here it is i'll come it is just type i so enter next if you want to see j j value just give j and enter next enter expression k just give k and give the enter okay so these are the values what it's coming. Now you see that I given a four, one, zero, zero. High value need to load the value of what? Four, right? So whether it is loading or just see. So I value is loaded by the four. Easily you can see that. Now I need to change the value to GPI J value. So how to change? So now I need to give the value it is three. I'm going to use. Just remove this one. Just give one, one. So now it is the three. So same port I'm going to use. So J I loaded the value of it is three. Let's see on that just run now four and three J and I and J values are loaded. Now it is K. If you want to K means addition of four plus three and it to get a seven. So where I'm going to see the output of this one? This one how to see that one? I'm going to take on one more port that is port two. So how to select the port two? Just same thing. Go to peripheral and uh, GPU plot you have a port 0 and also port 2 port 2 you need to select so initially it should be having some values okay so initially you have some values just remove this one okay now k value i need to get the stored here it is first it will be stored in the variable of k later the k value loaded to it is gpio 2 let will see that just give here it is 4 plus 3 i'll get that 7 x 7 means what 111 so this values become this 111 so later i'm going to load the value of my k to it is gpio 2 let's see on that see you can see that 111 it is coming so in this way i'll take the values from the port 0 and i'm going to add it and store if you want to change the values you can just uh, change the symbol of plus to minus or star 
you can do the operation and you can store the result here okay please practice this